Hello people from the future. Welcome to Normalize Nerd. So in the last video, I have shown you how you can implement the simple linear regression in Python using scikit-learn and today we are going to learn about polynomial linear regression. First, I'm going to say what are the difference between polynomial linear regression and linear regression and how it is implemented in scikit-learn. Okay, so in case of linear regression, we had something a curve like this which basically means the for the equation of this curve was y pred equal to x1 w1 times x2 w2 something like this you can see the powers of x1 and x2 are always one so if this kind of thing happens then we say that uh, it is a linear regression but suppose uh, we have to fit a uh, curve something like this not it is not a straight line so to fit a curve so something like this to our data we need to have some polynomial features of our original features so what that mean well this simply means we have to add some polynomial terms of our original features suppose x1 is our original feature and x2 is another original feature now to apply polynomial linear regression what we need to do we need to add some extra features like x1 square x2 square it may be x1 cube and so on so for illustration purpose i have just taken uh, this four terms which is this is x to the x1 to the power 1 x1 to the power 2 x2 to the power 1 x2 to the power 2 and this is the bias term okay so uh, this is called a polynomial regression just because the it is a polynomial in xi now please notice that it is not a polynomial in w1 wi it is still a simple linear function in w1 and wi so that is why it is still a linear regression but it is a polynomial linear regression you cannot say that it is a polynomial regression because if it would a polynomial regression then uh, in that case all the w i's would have some polynomial terms so that was the cl clarification that in linear regression we had everything to the power one but in polynomial linear regression we have polynomial terms of our features but linear terms of our weights so uh, suppose this is our y and this is our x so if we suppose we fit this model to our data set we will get a curve like this please notice that it is not a straight line it is a it is something like a cubic curve okay so that was all for the conceptual part and now i'm going to jump into the code section so for the demonstration i am using the same data set as i have used in the past two videos and the link to the data set will be provided in the description of this video so first of all i need to import the three libraries that we are going to use okay so the libraries are imported now i have to import the data set that is stored in data.csv file and after executing that you can see we have our data frame and it contains five columns and these first four columns represent our features and the last column is the predict variable and we are going to predict this column and so for the so, uh, polynomial linear regression i am using only first two features so after executing this line i will get my matrix of features at as the first two columns and uh, this will just give me a vector y will contain all the values corresponding to the last column that is our output variable that we are going to predict now uh, similarly as i have done in the past videos i have to do here also the standard scaling so i am executing the standard scaling and after doing that our uh, features will be scaled and will come into a range that is in this case 
minus 2 to positive 2. You can see the, all the values lies between minus 2 to positive 2. And after that, as usual, I have to split our data set into two portion. One is training set and the other one is test set. And here I have used test set size as 0.2. That simply means that 20% of this data will belong to test set. Okay. So let me just execute this line. So you can see that uh, we have our uh, arrays x test x train y test and y train now we have to introduce polynomial features to this so to do that we are using scikit-learn again and from the pre-processing module i am importing polynomial features class okay so by executing this line uh, this class will be imported in my program and after that i am declaring an object of this class I'm calling it as poly and this will be uh, polynomial features and degree I am uh, stating the degree as 3 so that simply means uh, it will generate all the features from our original feature that are of degree 3 or lower so what that does mean well uh, let me show you something here suppose uh, this x1 and x2 were our original features after doing the degree 3 polynomial linear fit we will have our features like this so the first feature will be x2 to the power 3 then x1 times x2 to the power 2 you can see the uh, in this line all the powers of each one uh, adds up to 3 and in this in this row uh, all the powers adds up to 2 here 2 here 2 and here also 1 plus 1 2 and in this line uh, the powers are 1 x1 and x2 so the powers are 1 and lastly we have just x1 to the power 0 x2 to the power 0 so this will be just 1 okay so how many features we are going to have after this fit we are going to have 10 features 4 uh, cubic features 3 squared features to just uh, to the power one features and one will be just one because x to the zero and x one to the zero is simply one so we are going to have 10 features after this fit so to fit this we have to just use the fit transform method and we can simply do it by x poly well x poly will be our modified set of features so let me just execute this lines of code and after that you can see here that x poly is our new matrix that will contain all the modified features and you can see indeed that we have here 10 features this corresponds to the x1 to the 0 times x2 to the 0 this corresponds to the x1 this is x2 and this is probably x1 square x2 square and so on and so forth and lastly this two will be x1 to the power 3 and x2 to the power 3 okay so we are good with our polynomial features uh, now we are going to fit this one also and after that we need to do our regression so now the regression is exactly same as the linear regression so i am importing here the linear regression class from linear model module okay so let me just run this code after that i am defining an object this is i have explained in the previous video of simple linear regression so this is the same thing so that is not a very tough one okay so it is done and lastly as we have done we have to fit our model to our data our training data now please remember that we are going to use here x poly because i have defined the modified features in x poly in the previous video i have showed you that for simple linear regression we were using x train but here x train is the original features and x poly is the modified polynomial features so we have to pass x poly here and 
obviously white train here because we are not modifying our output variable that is the y variable so after doing that uh, i'm executing this line of code so our model is fit and lastly what we need to do we just need to do our prediction and i am going to store our predicted values in ypred so now let me just look at this ypred and uh, the y test you can see the values are pretty cool, close now one thing i should tell you that this poly this polynomial linear regression may not be the best fit model for this data i have just used this data to demonstrate the polynomial linear regression so i'm pretty sure that there are uh, different algorithms that will perform better on this data so that was all for this video i hope you really enjoyed this video and learned about polynomial linear regression please like this video share this video share your comments and don't forget to subscribe to normalize nerd thanks for watching